right, hello wine drinking people. Today is Tuesday, the 26th of August. And then I'd like to say I'm fresh back from my trip here, but I got back Friday and right back to work. Uh, came in for a super Syrah tasting, which was incredible. And then Saturday night, a good friend's uh, birthday party, and Sunday, two kid birthday parties. Woo! I'd say I hit the ground running here. And I'm back, don't worry. I'm uh, tan rested and ready to get really get back to work here this week. We've got a number of great tastings going on to finish up August our Domain Weinbach event, which is sold out. And then we got our Vintage Aussie tasting this Friday. We're going to be tasting some of the top-level wines like Henschke, Hill of Grace, and Penfolds Grange here in the store. And we still got a few seats left for that, one of our once-in-a-lifetime events. Hey, we do it every year, and uh, that's how we roll here at the Wine Watch. We're planning on taking down as many of these great bottles that we've got inside these four walls as we can before another earthquake hits. And... Uh, phew, Never know. God bless those people in Napa. Hopefully uh, you guys are all fine out there. And We've got one of my favorite things in life on this email, a killer deal on a vintage wine from a great producer from Italy. And this is uh, our good friend Dominic Nocerino, the owner of Vinifera. And uh, he decided after 30 years of being an import and distributor in this country, he should try his hand at making his own winery. He bought St. Helena Winery in Venezia Giulia in northeastern Italy in 1997 and got personally involved here. And uh, Franco Bernabe was his first consulting winemaker, one of the top names in Italy. I don't know who he's got there now, but I know his son, uh, little Dominic, is now running the uh, show over there. And uh, man, I'll tell you one thing, these older wines that we've been getting from this winery, outstanding values. You close your eyes and put your nose into this glass of 1998 roast to roll a blend of Merlot and Cabernet. You think you're in uh, Bordeaux on the right bank somewhere. This wine has beautifully evolved right now. If you like mature wines, not for everybody, you know, this is wine is in its second stage of life. Some of the fruit starting to fade here. You get some wonderful earthy characters coming out, some nice herbs and underbrush that you get from wines uh, at this age from Italy. And uh, it's got some nice fruit still left, a little plum and dark cherry on the nose and uh, nice and expansive on the palate here, smooth round tannins, which is what happens when the wine gets old. It still has some nice freshness to it though. This wine, a very good little bottle of wine for 15 bucks, wow. One of the best values we have in that vintage category in the store. And uh, hey, we've also got one of my favorite wines from this part of Italy, Pignolo. There's only a few people that make these. This uh, Quantum wine from 2006, most excellent juice. And then we got some of these Magnums left from 2005, Cabernet and Merlot, for uh, under $15.00. If you're looking at the per bottle cost, it runs there for $26, a Magnum. Um, great little wines uh, you can cook with, or which is what I've been doing with these at home, or drink. I won't cook with anything. I won't drink. And these 2005 wines showing some nice evolution here. Really nice. And uh, we've also got a little 2000 Rosa to roll, so check it out. Everything we've got in the store from this fantastic winery from Venezia Giulia. All vintage stuff. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off from the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.